Hello everyone, my name is Raiderhorn and I'm going to show you the fastest way to level your characters to level 20 in Injustice 2. So this is if you're just wanting to get your character to level 20 or if you want to get that Master of All Trades achievement. So uh, what I also recommend doing is completing story mode first in, in order to unlock Brainiac. I'm just, uh, I haven't completed story mode yet, so, but I'm just showing you the methods uh, that's the fastest to get your character to level 20 and then I'll go back and do it and get them to level 20 sh uh, shortly after. And so uh, the fastest method, it requires two controllers and what you're going to do is you're just going to go into multiplayer and load up a versus match and I'm just going to pick a character like Swamp Thing who's a bit slower cause, like his move sets are a lot slower as compared to some of the other characters who move faster and you don't have to have sign in a second profile you can just go to continue without saving and I'm going to just pick like uh, Robin here for example Robin. so what you want to do is just uh, beat up on your second controller here and you're going to get anywhere from 930 to 950 character XP it's depending on how fast you win the match uh, for easy purposes we're going to just hit our opponent with a, a back and heavy attack followed by a forward and heavy attack so it'll look like this you know it's like your background bounce followed by the heavy overhead and you're just going to keep doing that and uh, if you murder, if you meter burn those moves, you'll do even more damage. If your character has like a character power or like a special move that increases their damage somehow, then by all means use it. It'll make it go faster. So you need a total of 61,078 character XP to reach level 20, and using this method will take about 66 uh, beatdowns on your second player, including loading time, the loading screen, like loading and match times. Uh, they're about 40 to 55 seconds each so one character to reach level 20 you're looking at roughly 44 to 55 minutes and applying this range to the whole cast of 28 characters will take you roughly 20 and a half to about 25 and a half hours that's the kind of grind you're looking at now uh, if you don't have a second controller next alternative is to pick a single player fight versus an AI on very easy difficulty. Uh, you want to choose this Swamp Thing as the AI too because he is much slower with his attacks so you won't get hit as much. Uh, sometimes you will get hit but uh, it's not likely that you will. And here in this method you'll get about 500 to 680 XP per win. I never earned less than 500 XP as I wouldn't perform that bad. The more damage you take, the less XP you'll earn, so you want to try and take the least damage possible. Uh, winning faster will also give you more XP, uh, like in the previous method. So at this rate, you're going to be looking at around 88 to 90 matches per character, depending on how you do. And I'm going to like giving a rough estimate of a, about 50 seconds each match, with the, with the loading times included. It'll take you about an hour 15 minutes, maybe a little bit over that per character. And so applying this to the whole cast, you're looking at about 33 and a half to 35 hours for the whole cast if you do this method instead. Uh, now, some of you may be wondering if the AI battle simulator is quicker. It's not nearly as effective as you think, even if you sim games at four times speed. Because wins in that mode, excuse me, only net you about 180 to 390 XP per match, and that's depending on how good your AI does. And you're not guaranteed to win every time too. So if your AI loses, you only get about 40 to 60 XP per match, which is horrendous. And on top of this, you have to reload the sim, you have to set your up your team again, you have to rekit your characters with gear in order for them to perform better, and it just wastes more time. It's not nearly as fast as these. So uh, with all that being said, that's about it. Happy grinding, and I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. And, lets me know that uh, these videos helped you and everything like that. So, thank you for watching.